Hello dear students, how are you all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we are going to understand about the economic importance of a pollen grains. In the previous video, we talked about the structure of the pollen grain. Here, we are going to understand the economic importance of the pollen grain. And this concept, it is very very important for competitive exams. Because in 2014, based on this concept, the question was asked in AIPMT. Now, what is this AIPMT? Previously, NEET was supposed to be the AIPMT, All India Pre-Medical Test. AIPMT, All India Pre-Medical Test. Now, let us uh, begin our discussion of economical importance of a pollen grain. Pollen grains, they are playing a very major significant role to the plants, but they are also playing a very important role in the human life. Why they are very important to the mankind? Let us understand. Pollen grains are consisting of two cells in them. We have discussed in the last class. Vegetative cell and the generative cell. And vegetative cell is uh, rich in nutrients. Vegetative cell is a nourishing cell. That is why the pollen grains are rich in... Pollen grains... Pollen grains are rich in nutrients. They are very rich in the nutrients. Abundant amount of carbohydrate is there. Abundant amount of vitamins, fats are there in the pollen grains. And these nutrients can be utilized for human welfare. As a result of that, a pharmaceutical company from England, it has prepared a tablet. Medicine. It has prepared a tablet. Or recently, that same company, England pharmaceutical company, has prepared a syrup also. Syrup also. By using the pollen grains. That means by using the pollen grains, tablets and syrups are prepared by using pollens. Why this pharmaceutical company they selected the pollen grains? Because the pollen grains are rich in the nutrients. One such tablet which is very famous and widely consumed, widely utilized by the consumers is bee pollen tablet. Bee pollen tablet. This bee pollen tablet, it consists about 45 percentage of carbohydrate it consists of approximately 35 percent of proteins it consists of approximately 5 to 10 percent of fats like that there are so many nutrient value approximately there are 250 active nutrients are there active nutrients are there in the bee pollen tablet and this bee pollen tablet is widely consumed as we have discussed particularly by the athletes particularly by the athletes and these pollen bee tablets they are also given to the race horses race horses that means pollen bee tablets are getting consumed by athletes as well as they are given to the race horses to increase their stamina and performance. To increase the stamina and their performance, the pollen tablets are given. And these pollen tablets, they are also helpful for increasing, for increasing immunity for increasing the immunity pollen tablets are also consumed in the uh, uh, to reduce the stress reduce the stress pollen tablets are also used as a antioxidants and pollen tablets are also given to reduce 
the inflammations inflammations in the body that means the pollen tablets are very very useful to the mankind just now we have talked about the use of a pollen grain to the mankind now let us talk about let us talk about the problematic situation caused by the pollen grains pollen grains they cause pollen allergy they cause pollen allergy now what is this allergy in our day to day life we are repeatedly using this word allergy i am allergic to the dust i am allergic to the air i am allergic to the sunlight we repeatedly use this word allergy now what is this allergy allergy means the hypersensitivity of our immune system that condition is called as allergy or it is simply called as irritability irritability in the body so many pollen grains are simply released in the air and these pollen grains if they enter in our body our body immunity starts becoming hyperactive our body immunity starts becoming uh, you can say our body our body immunity it is uh, uh, doing uh, over reacting it is over reacting or it is uh, it is doing a show off in the body that is called as pollen allergy this pollen allergy may lead to the a very severe and problematic situations like asthma asthma and this pollen allergy it may also cause a respiratory problem called as bronchitis bronchitis due to the entry of pollen grains through the nasal cavity it may damage our lungs it may interrupt with our respiratory process and it may cause asthma and the bronchitis in some people if the pollen grains if they entered into the nasal cavity or if they enter into the respiratory tract they cause fever they cause fever and that particular fever it is called as hay fever hay fever hay fever this is about the pollen allergy pollen allergy means the irritability caused by the pollen grains is called as pollen allergy and what is that irritability results into it results into asthma and bronchitis and in some people pollen grains they also cause fever that fever is called as hay fever now let us understand the third significant role of a pollen grain played in the human life pollen grains are widely utilized pollen grains are widely used by the plant breeders they are useful useful to the useful to the plant breeders now who are the plant breeders plant breeders are the scientists who are involved in the improvement of the variety of a crop or who are imp who are involved in the improvement of variety of a plant species they are called as plant breeders plant breeders are actually developing the new new varieties of the plants and in uh, today's world we have got so many varieties of rice so many varieties of wheat so many varieties of sorghum so many varieties of mangoes and they are all developed in the laboratory by the plant breeders that technique or that branch of a biology it is called as plant breeding now the pollen grains are playing a significant role in the plant breeding process and they are widely utilized by the plant breeders how they are playing a very important role we know pollen grains are the male gametophytes they are the male gametophytes that means they are carrying the male gametes if these male gametes are of superior quality then such pollen grains can be preserved such pollen grains can be stored such pollen grains can be utilized for artificial hybridization we'll discuss artificial hybridization in our future classes or in your future videos now superior superior pollen grains are preserved superior pollen grains are preserved now here one thing we have to notice here we are preserved in a live material 
and we made it very clear in our first chapter that every living cell has got a lifespan every living organism has a got a lifespan similarly pollen grains also they have got a particular lifespan and that lifespan is called as viability 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 means the period of activeness or in simple words we can define the viability as the lifespan of a pollen grain that viability in some pollen grains it is about for 30 minutes that means some plants they release the pollen grains and they remain active for 30 minutes some of the pollen grains they remain active for months together they remain active for months here viability means the period of activeness or lifespan of a particular pollen grain some of the species they release the pollen grain and they remain active for minimum 30 minutes and some of the pollen grains they remain viable for months together now these pollen grains they have got a lifespan and they are preserved they can be preserved for our future experiments in the plant breeding program that means these pollen grains must and should preserve under under liquid nitrogen under liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees celsius this preserving or the method of preserving any live material not only the pollen grain any live material under the liquid nitrogen at 190 degree 196 degree minus 196 degree celsius this method it is called as cryopreservation cryopreservation method now how we can define the cryopreservation cryopreservation here Cryo is a Greek word. Cryo means cold. Cryo means extreme cold. Extreme cold. If you preserve any living material under liquid nitrogen at 196 degree minus 196 degree Celsius, then it is considered as a cryopreservation. Now the pollen grains are the living materials. They are preserved under a cryopreservation method. Such cryopreservation method leads to the construction of pollen bank. Pollen bank. Here bank means preservation. We preserve our money at banks. Similarly, the pollen grains are preserved under the pollen blanks by using a cryopreservation method. Now, as I told at the beginning of my lecture, from this concept, the question was asked in 2014 AIPMT. What was the question? The question was, people or the athletes, they consume the pollen tablets for the following reasons. Why they consume the pollen tablets? To increase the stamina, to increase the performance that means the pollen tablets they increase the stamina they increase the performance in athletes as well as in the race horses in our next video we are going to understand one more very important concept from the same second chapter till then stay home stay safe thank you